I've always loved exploring the back roads of Montana, and I've had this big idea in my head for years to create Montana's longest bike and recreational trail on the old Milwaukee Road from Three Forks to Harleton. It'd be 115 miles. In 1898, the, the first portion of this rail line was built from the Missouri River to Harleton, and it was called the Jawbone because the builder, Richard Harlow, had a reputation for talking too much. And I discovered this old rail line in the mid-1980s on my first road trip to the ghost town of Castle, Montana. This is early state history, and the new rail line was made possible because of the hard work of Montanans who built most of this route by hand, using the most basic of tools. Many of the small towns along its route were built because of this railroad, and places I love to visit, and I bet you do too. Well, the state develops, Railroad businesses merge, communities grow, and the Milwaukee, <clears throat> excuse me, the Milwaukee Road eventually crosses the entire state from Miles City, Roundup, Harlow, Ringling, Three Forks, Butte, all the way to Seattle. The jawbone of Milwaukee Road become a full service railroad. And she's well known, the Milwaukee, for her passenger service and scenic route. Who wouldn't love to join this fine lady perched on a cliff makeup done, hair quaffed, as she clings dangerously close to passengers zipping by in the Superdome. I think Montana is ready. I think Montana is ready for an expedition grade recreational trail on the Milwaukee Road. The route and rail bed are mostly intact and with modest improvements are usable. In some places the rail bed now serves as a ranch road or county road. It's just waiting for us to put it to better use. But to succeed, we're going to have to put our minds together. And OK, maybe not our minds together, but to get this done, it will require the cooperation of landowners and many others, you and me, working together so that the improvements can be made to make this new trail possible. And the Jawbone Trail is a realistic first step. It would connect Three Forks to Ringling, Martinsdale, Harlow, and create Montana's longest recreational trail. Easily on the top 10 list of one of the lo ro longest rail trail routes in the United States. And ultimately, the Milwaukee Road could take the number one position. But just a second on that. This is an important idea because the Milwaukee Road and Jawbone Trail would link together Montana cities to some of our struggling rural communities and have the potential to stimulate a new kind of sustainable community development, be incredibly powerful. And recreational trails are on everyone's wish list. Thriving communities depend on the high quality of life and outdoor experiences that recreational trails offer. And this is an expedition grade recreational trail. It would link key destinations together in a unique way that car travel just can't do. <clears throat> in fact, other portions of the Milwaukee Road have already been converted to trails. The route of the Hiawatha and the Olympian on the Montana-Idaho border are on my bucket list, and these are world-renowned destination trails. And the Taft Tunnel, at over a mile and a half long, is the highlight of every trip. In fact, the longest rail trail route in the United States is on the Milwaukee Road in the state of Washington. It passes through cities, towns, and rural areas, and it has been a catalyst for preservation and redevelop redevelopment along its entire route. But Montana, we have the jawbone. It's uniquely Montana. It's our home field advantage. It leverages our quality of life, our small towns, our heritage as a strategy for linking Montana cities and rural communities together. It would create a new destination experience through some of the most remote, scenic, beautiful parts of Montana. For nearly 80 years, the Milwaukee Road helped to build Montana. And ranchers and the, rail, and, and the railroad coexisted on the open landscapes. Small towns thrive with passenger service and with daily connections to cities. I've spent most of my career helping small, town, small downtowns thrive and finding new uses for historic properties. And the destination trail like the Jawbone will require multi-day trips 
has the potential to benefit every historic small town, building, business, along its entire route. There's a saying, if you want to go fast, go alone. If you want to go far, go together. This is going to require teamwork and determination from all of us to make this trail possible. And it definitely will require the cooperation of landowners and communities and people like you to help me. I know the Jawbone Trail can be a reality. I've been thinking about the possibility of this trail for many years. And I've recently discovered that it's been studied by others and looked at by organizations like the Rails to Trail Conservancy. So I'm not starting alone, and if you are willing to help me, you wouldn't, you, we wouldn't be starting alone either. This trail is just waiting for us to create it to the benefit of the towns that it once served. And imagine an even bigger idea. What if the jawbone was just phase one of a Milwaukee Road Trail? What would it mean for Montana and all the communities that this route crosses if we had the longest rail trail in the United States? Okay, so fundraising is gonna be important. And I have a few ideas we can use to raise money. <laughs> I'm not sure about the naked bike riding, but that Keganator is gonna be on every trip. So I say let's go. I think Montana is ready to build the longest rail trail in the state. <laughs> and I think we should start with the jawbone. I know it can help restore towns, preserve our past, be a link to communities in a unique way and stimulate a whole new brand of sustainability for the future. If you'd love to help me, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you so much.